Welcome back. You're watching Ashura in Amsterdam. Which platform should you use to grow your business on social media? Yeah, yeah, I know. This has been a question from many of you, business owners. You can't decide which platform to focus on. You can't decide where you should grow your business. You can't decide where and what you should even focus on. So before I try to narrow down for you what you should focus on, I'm going to first narrow down the platforms. I'm going to tell you all about the platforms that you can use to grow your business. Yeah, on social media. So the first platform you all know is Facebook. Most of you are on Facebook sharing photos of your children, dogs, and whatever you're doing at home, or cakes and uh, baking, whatever you do. So that's one of the platforms where you connect with all your ex-classmates and your ex-colleagues. And that. So the second platform is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a platform where you share your CV and you connect with your ex-colleagues, people you've worked with, people you want to work with, companies you want to work with, things like that. The third platform is Instagram. Instagram is owned by Facebook now. It was bought recent, not recently, it was bought a few years ago and Facebook owns it. So, and the other platform is TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. So TikTok is relatively new and it's also hype at this moment. The other one is Snapchat. Yeah, Snapchat is also hip. You have another one called YouTube. YouTube is also a social media platform you can also use to grow your business. So six platforms, which one to choose from? Okay. In my own experience as a business owner and someone who's always tried to grow my business and someone who's tested out everything, is I would recommend three platforms from all the six, you know. So let's first, you know, go down into the section. So why do I recommend just three? I recommend three because the other three are relatively new. The other platforms that I'm not recommending are relatively young and they also have a very very young audience yeah but focus on three so the first platform I recommend is Facebook and LinkedIn and Instagram three platforms focus on those three platforms oh uh, no 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 not three I would, I would suggest to recommend four platforms, yeah? So I will leave out the two because the other two are relatively new. And most of you have had so much difficulty, you know, understanding them. So I'll focus on four. One of the first platform is Facebook. The second one is YouTube. The third one is Instagram. And the fourth one is LinkedIn. Depending on which business you're in, that will determine which platform I would advise you to focus on. But generally, if you're in a B2B business, I would recommend that you use LinkedIn. Why do I recommend LinkedIn for B2B businesses? This is because B2B business uh, businesses are also on LinkedIn. You know, if you're a business owner and you're looking for another business owner to do a business with you, you are well off on LinkedIn because LinkedIn is also very targeted. They know who has done what, they have a history of, of their skills, they know which companies you've worked for, so they know everything about you most of the time. They even have your resume, they have your resume. So yeah, if they, they don't need anything, they have your resume already. So they will target the person you're looking for, for you. So LinkedIn is very, very powerful, you know, and yeah. They also have uh, data and artificial intelligence and audiences and all those things. So if you just put those things in place, you will be able to build your audience on LinkedIn and you can be able to build your business and brand on LinkedIn. So the second one is Facebook. I highly, highly recommend Facebook. Facebook, why? Facebook is relatively cheap at the moment, but Facebook is really really strong because it also has a lot of data it has data on over a billion users yeah so when you're using facebook you're also using instagram so these two work hand in hand if you have a facebook account you can you know promote your facebook account or your instagram content on facebook because you only need facebook manager 
to you know promote your stuff from you know on Instagram so you don't need something else so these two work hand in hand and the other thing is YouTube YouTube is a search engine and YouTube has the power of Google behind it so why do I say the power of Google because Google is a search engine so every, everything you you look for on the internet Google records it so Every time you go online, you type in blah blah, you type in this stuff. So next time some you target, you know, next time you want to find people who are looking for the services you you you're offering, you can use YouTube to market to them. You just have to do search ads or things like that. So or offer content or build an audience on YouTube that you know will grow your business. So four platforms. So it's up to you what you're comfortable with. Because you can't focus on all of them. You just have to choose one. Choose one and then master that. Then go to the second one. When you've mastered that, go to the third one. When you've mastered that, go to the fourth one. But start with one and really, really go in depth with one first. And when you're successful with it, just continue with the second one, third one. And for most of you who are wondering, okay, so what do I post? So Facebook. You have you can post everything on Facebook. You can post videos. You can post uh, written content. You can post images. Yeah, and on LinkedIn you can post articles. You can write articles. You can post on uh, about uh, the field you want to work. You can post articles about the things you want to offer, about the services you're offering, and you know just general articles too. You can post videos. You can post images. Images, articles, and everything you can post on, on LinkedIn. On YouTube, you can only post videos, not only post, you can make posts, but videos are more, it's more for videos, you know, videos. So if you're good on video, then you do that. So if you're good on videos, you do the YouTube thing, you know, and then try to get to your audience with video. But if you're not good on video, you can do LinkedIn written words, you can do Facebook written word, you know, that kind of thing. You can do Instagram. Instagram also has IGTV. You can do videos, you can do written word, uh, you can do, uh, yeah, you, you can do images. So the list is endless. So for most of you who are there looking for what to start with, now pick the easiest for you and then focus on one and then you'll see your growth. But get your niche. Niche down. I hope this was helpful and I hope you can grow your business online. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for the support. And like this video, comment, and see you soon. Bye.